We're going to be talking about quite a few things. We're going to have some straight chit chat about what's really going on. Now, I want you guys to understand. I ain't been no dumb fool and spent no million dollars on no cars, though. I ain't, I ain't going for that. Right. No matter how much money I got. Is it going to be making sense? Mm -hmm. Real shit, though. As soon as you drive off, you lose a million. Soon you drive off, he like, you know, if you drive a color and off, you might lose 50 that day right, right there. But with this car, you're going to lose a million dollars immediately. Just soon you pull out. Peace and blessings to you. You know what I mean? Peace and blessings to you. I'm trying to be peaceful. You know what I mean? Trying to give all that good information for y'all. But a lot of the times, you know, sometimes niggas think, you know, think shit's soft. So I got to show a nigga the girth. I got to show a nigga how big this dick is. You know what I mean? It's all man over here. You feel me? But either way, um, getting back to it. So I want you guys to understand this. Very, very important. When it comes to IRS registration, the point of IRS registration that was done 2021, 2020, some around about that, it's so many perks and stuff like that. The, but the point of it is, is to bring the corporate partnership number out of the gutter. It's to bring it out of the scam and into commerce, into business, out from the private side into the public, if you understand. So there's a lot of perks on that. And the object of that goal is you can obviously use it as a personal guarantee that was one of the thousand perks as you know you can register something several times that application for irs registration can probably give you 300 different results depending on what you choose on that application so we got a lot to talk about at the end of the day so this ain't new information niggas been registering shit probably for 400 years <laughs> since the United States was created and since they start creating credit and social security numbers and stuff like that and the ability to start a business niggas have been using IRS registration period a lot of it is just you know we don't really focus on it because we don't pay attention to the details so the purpose of me coming to the quote unquote corporate partnership or CPN community is to give niggas this, this knowledge in this game you know what I mean but Obviously, it's going to go over a lot of people's heads, depending on your mind state. Very important what you're going to receive or not. I can give you gems all day, but if your mind is closed, go back and watch my videos. I'm just repeating what I've already been saying. But as I said, repetition is the mother and father of learning. Repetition. Look at that smile. Well, repetition is the mother and father of learning. Right? So... Let me repeat this to you. The IRS registration can do so many things. It now gives you the opportunity to control your CPN, control legally, say, hey, I have the right to do business with this information now. Now you don't have to be trying to figure out fake information, shucking and jiving when they start asking you questions, when they start asking for ID, you know, you start getting weird. 
You don't got to do that no more. You know what I mean? So I came to the game. I parted the fear. I parted the scam from the CPN and bought it to a higher level, to the master level. So I, I've been giving niggas the master class when it comes to, to this type of information, but I'm understanding and I've been saying this for a long time. It's not for everybody. Niggas minds closed. Niggas don't like reading. Niggas want you to hand them, hand them success. And niggas want that success at a discount. Now I've laced up many niggas boots over the years. You know what I mean? Many niggas boots got laced up. You know what I mean? Many niggas out there, there's a lot of YouTubers right now who was mentored in some capacity, but definitely directly by Master Bob, which is my mentor. This is Bobby Bronson, by the way, you feel me? So my mentor mentored a bunch of you niggas. You've been watching and scoping that niggas information, trust me. And it's okay, that's the point. That's what he was here for. But, you know, he's passing the baton to me. You feel me? And I'm going to tell y'all niggas straight. This is what you got to do. Now, we're going to talk about Airbnbs, rentals, and stuff like that. When you use your corporate partnership number in a butt naked fashion, then it's limited to what it could do, right? Why is it limited? Well, Master Bob taught you this. He explained to you that because it's not a taxable number, it's not a social security number, you cannot pretend that it's a social security number, right? Because if you do, that's how they get you. That's how you open the elements of criminal activity when you pretend it's a social security number, when you pretend that it's a taxable instrument. It is not. You only can get into business that is non-taxable or anything that's not report to the taxes. So that's a non-interest bearing accounts. Well, CPNs can touch those. But when you get regular bank accounts that are interest bearing and something has to be reported like taxes, income, that's when the CPN don't work. It'll work a little bit, but then they're going to snatch your account. But niggas don't, niggas don't know why they got their account snatched. They just say it don't work no more. It's because you got an interest bearing account or you got into taxable taxable transactions with this non-taxable number that's butt naked prior to IRS registration and you technically don't own it. Remember, when it comes to this great nation, in order to be a criminal, you have to try to bypass getting in bed with the government. You got to pay Uncle Sam some kind of way. Understand, drugs are illegal. Why? Because Uncle Sam ain't getting no money. The moment, the, the moment marijuana became taxable, well, hey, everybody can get some then. Think about what I'm telling you. So the point of IRS registration is to take it from that scam environment into taxation and corporation and business. You understand? Corporate partnership number. So it goes from a CPN from the hood to a corporate partnership number, which you with one level of registration. And of course, that entity is its own entity now, and it can personal guarantee any other businesses or transactions in the future because it's now it can now act in dual capacity. What's those capacities? Well, taxable and non-taxable. The CPN, butt naked, is a non-taxable instrument. When you register it, it now has the opportunity to get into bed with taxation. It can now be taxable. It can now do business. It can now work. It can now report taxes and all these things. You know what I mean? So much more to learn as well. You know, Master Bob laced y'all up with that knowledge. And you got to pay homage to that. Niggas give homage to the white man real quick. Niggas love giving homage to the white man. But when Master Bob laced y'all up, Niggas get amnesia and shit. Well, I'm here to remind y'all niggas. You understand? He laced y'all up. He explained to y'all. A lot of YouTubers start doing a whole bunch of bullshit. What a nigga. Start doing a whole bunch of bullshit. You understand? A lot of YouTubers got this information, start giving it out, giving niggas overdose, 
and now niggas is full and stuffed on how to register and they don't even respect it no more. They don't even understand how much of a gym it is. Because niggas done overdosed you with it. Niggas done threw you off the track of success. Well, I'm here to put you back on the track of, of success. There's multiple ways of registration. You understand? So you got a master just because you learn one way or somebody handed you something for free or probably gave you Master Bob's information or you got it some kind of way. You got to get back on track and get an understanding that it's for business purposes. It's to take it from a legal activity into compensation and corporation and registration. So what can you do with those things? Well, you can go rent Airbnbs. You can go rent different units. I'm going to start. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you some units right now. Now, understand, this is a beautiful home. I think it's four bedrooms, about 3,000 square foot, one story. I'm very into much to one stories right now. Now, if you don't have anybody that you can find with good credit, this is what we've been talking about for years, Master Bob and Lacey, y'all. Let's let's go in this house together. If you, if you can't find anybody with good credit and stuff like that, well, you have to create them. And that's what corporate partnership numbers, one of the opportunities is you can create somebody who can co-sign or can be PG. Now, first case scenario, of course, you're going to find maybe 50, 100 people. I've been looking for, I say, a thousand people, which I'm halfway there, a thousand people to invest in, in certain things. Now, this unit, there's going to be probably 16 different um, grocery stores in the neighborhood, schools. They're going to have new shopping. A casino is going to be built around this area. So currently, if you can't afford or if your paperwork ain't together on buying a property, which I've already been approved already for this property, once this property is completed when in about four months, five months tops in this neighborhood, you're going to see lots of Caucasian people, lots of Asian people put their house up for rent. Now, those opportunities are going to be right in your face. New new developments. A lot of people have rentals and you and say, for instance, the rent is, say, twenty eight hundred. I know within four months of that, the rent is going to be thirty eight hundred. So you can sublease this. This is what I've been doing. Master Bob taught me this. I've been subleasing this information to you guys. So now I've been subleasing a lot of places for a certain amount of time. And then I also have already rental people, clients that are going to go into this establishment, giving me about a thousand dollar overhead for thirty eight hundred dollars. You understand for a 16 month contract. Period. So understand if you multiply that times 50. Well, that's fifty thousand dollars, right? On top of so many other things. Now, you can also turn this also into an Airbnb because this is going to be already furnished. Everything you see in here, I paid for the upgrades already. And I want you to understand that. Now, this is very amazing. Very amazing. It was an extra $180,000, which made it a total of about $600,000. Now, instead of going and buying fancy cars and stuff like that, I put a lot of energy and time in getting properties. Understand that. Now, Master Bob explained, since what, 2005, Master Bob had about five to six different mansions that he used to do this process on. So he's just showing you that the time is now. So I'm taking advantage of that information when I register my CPN with the IRS, when I create a corporation, you know, when I look for investors and stuff like that, when I fix people's credit, all these things. These are the things that I'm getting into purchasing and or subleasing because this is one way to get to the money. Now, this is so nice. I actually want to live in it. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I got excited, but I learned a long time ago to be cold hearted when it comes to properties. Any property can get it. I'm willing to let go any property for a certain amount of money.
You know what I think? You understand what I'm saying? If you make a certain amount of money, every property you look for shouldn't be the one you want to die in. Period. Every property can go for the right price. Every property can be subleased for the right price. You understand? Lots of people, there's lots of businessmen, lots of business women, lots of business people who need about a two month lease and they'll be willing to spend about seven to eight thousand dollars a month. You know, a four month lease, an eight month lease. They'll be willing to spend about seven, eight, nine thousand dollars for a furnished place. So in those three, four months, I'll make enough to pay for it for the entire year, maybe two. I already have contracts in line. Now, I already have corporate partnership numbers that's already approved for about $70,000. So I can sublease it to my own corporate partnership numbers, my own business partners that I create. This is what I learned from Master Bob. Understand that. So these are the things that you need to have an understanding of. Pool and everything. You know, it'll be ready in about four months or so. Furnished. Unfurnished, it was probably, I think it was $180,000 or less. But I realized, hey, you know, all the upgrades, all these things, I'll be spending more time. It's not going to look like this. Yes, I can pay somebody, but the time consuming, hey, it's, it's, it's ready to go. It's ready to start flipping. It's ready to start making money. And these are the things that you got to get into. These are the things that you got to understand. If you can't find somebody, create them. This is legal. Just like opening, starting a new business, in a or finding. Corporation, these are the things that you can get into. Create them. You understand? But you got to get your mind right first. You got to get out the gutter. You got to stop thinking small. You got to get to this master level. You got to have this master plan. Now, the, the baton has been handed to me. Master Bob will come on here from time to time. But in the meantime, Bobby Bronson finna let y'all know what's up. You understand? We got time to be playing, family. We do not have time to be enemies. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I be wanting to get on your head. Keep it a buck with you. You know what I'm talking about. I be wanting to get on you. But sometimes we got to be man enough to put that BS aside and work together. Real talk takes a real gangster to do that i'm being gangster right now i'm i'm showing you my g code sometimes you got to put that bs down and come together as much as possible especially today so i've been coming together giving y'all this knowledge giving y'all this information giving y'all this love respect but i'm gonna demand it in return that's it you understand respect my game as i respect yours Respect my time as I respect your finances. You understand? We got a plan coming up. Digi figures, the master plan, because this is all digital money. Understand, they're taking away cash and everything's going digital. So when you go, go get credit, credit is already in a digital space. Credit is digital. Leasing and contracts and, and, and units and stuff like that, it's already digitized. Because that's why you can do it online through the internet. And these are the things where you don't got to fake IDs and stuff like that when you have the correct paperwork. Sometimes it's, it's a smart thing to pay a certain amount of taxes to get you in the door. And things can be edited later. We talk about that. Master Bob talked about that. But again, repetition is the mother and father learning. Let's quit high siding. If your mind ain't right, this ain't for you. You understand? I already pushed your wig back. Your wig has been pushed back. You know, tip it to the to the front a little bit, add some more glue, and pay attention. You understand? 818-278-5588. Bobby Bronson. Least six figures. Stand at least six figures. Four, five, six.